Good morning. I've been making uh, battery cables for the dragster as of late, and I thought maybe I'd show you how I make my cables. I'm certain that the other people have other ways of doing it, but this is the way I've been doing it. I had a cable made up. I was going to use this welding cable for the start for everything, but I had some red Taylor uh, single lot wire left over, and that's what this welding cable is, is single lot. So I think I used the red cable for uh, running from the battery to the main switch. Uh, one thing you want to do when you make up battery cables is try to use the natural bend to cable. Cable naturally has a bend to it, so rather than fight it, try to use it. This one is going to go from the, the terminal down to the master shutoff switch. So I want to use this natural curve if I can. So the first thing we got to do is uh, strip this insulation off. I got a new blade and a razor blade knife so I don't want to go through the copper. And you want to take about 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch of copper off. And what we got is absolutely no copper. Nice, tight, and put the fitting on. And we want to get all the pieces. Like that. Okay? Hold the copper, hold the cable all the way in. Okay. And we end up with a nice crimp. Now, I've got a length measured. goes like this. Right there, that's the end of the copper right there. Strip the copper off. Strip the insulation off. Always remembering how it's going to go in. It's going to go in just like that. So this one has to go on here just like that. Capture all the pieces. And stick this in the crimper. Get it oriented right. another nice crimp. Then the next step I do is I put heat shrink around the ends of these things. And I like to have about two inches. Cut it about three inches long. Turn the heat gun on. This is an older heat gun, so it takes a while. And what I do is I put it so it's just past the flat on the back side, so you have full contact. And then take the heat shrink. And if there's any bubbles, you can work it out with the air gun. Now, when you buy heat shrink, you want to buy the heat shrink with the glue on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. 
when you heat it up, the glue squeezes out and makes a real firm connection. So now we have a nice cable. We even have the indents from the crimp showing up through the heat shrink. Okay. One down, one to go. Got a little vacuuming going upstairs. Well, we'll just and that's what we end up with. Okay, now we gotta take it up and see how it fits. Thank you.